You may have looked at your cell phone bill and thought there has to be a way to lower it. But Joanne Burton joins us now to explain why finding a low cost plan is getting harder than ever so you don't waste your money. Joe? Yeah, maybe you guys have noticed cell phone plan price wars have just about disappeared. A new report says T-Mobile and Sprint are phasing out their low cost plan and data plans as well and that prices for everyone may be headed up. Remember a few years ago when major carriers were advertising monthly plans for less than $50 a month? Well, the Wall Street Journal says the price wars are over. It says Sprint and T-Mobile have decided to stop battling for deep discount customers and instead will now compete with AT&T and Verizon for people willing to pay more. It all means your bill? About $170 a month. Well, it's around 180 I think. We'll keep heading up. And to add insult to injury, gone are the days of perks like free iPhones. The Wall Street Journal says the new iPhone 8 and 10 are much more expensive than the old 4s and 5s. And if you want a new phone, be prepared to pay. NerdWallet.com did a comparison and said AT&T offers the best deal for a traditional network. It also says consider discounters like Boost, Metro PCS, and Republic Wireless. And if you don't mind prepaying, NerdWallet says Cricket Wireless is your best bet. All right, bottom line here, Anu and Dave, if you need to know a low-priced plan, a prepaid phone from Boost, Cricket, or Straight Talk may be your best bet at this point to keep that bill down so you don't waste your money. In the newsroom, I'm Joanne Purton. Back to you guys. Yeah, it just keeps going higher and higher. You heard that one gentleman say $180 for his bill. Between that and cable, yeah, I that's mean, right. you know. <laughs> Sends people to the poorhouse. Right. Joanne, thank you.